There are over 125 different ways to celebrate in FIFA, but have you ever wondered which one is the best? Because if you score a game winner, you don't want to do just any old dance. Which is why today we're going to tell the story behind every single one, explain the meaning, and rank them all to find the best celebrations in all of football. Knee slide arguably the oldest movement. It's perfect on a slick grassy pitch unlike many turf grounds. It's made out of pure passion where in some cases the entire team follows sliding one after the other. There are over six different variations in FIFA which shows how creative you can be with your arms. Big or small, this choice was made for all types of movements which makes it an A tier celebration. Scissors. One of the silliest celebrations ever invented. To me, it's more of a workout than a way to celebrate, unless I was drunk. From the outside, I think it's a way for players to flex their strength and power, but it seems ridiculous after a game winner. This exercise has its place in games like Just Dance, but probably not in football. Personally, Scissors is a poor option and has to go in the D tier. Spinning Frog. A comedic choice if you want to laugh with your mates. Prancing around in circles might make you dizzy, but it's an option guaranteed to bring you joy. The celebration was likely born from the childhood game Leapfrog and encompasses similar like jumping patterns from the deep squat position. Yet for some footballers, they might feel insecure when attempting the spinning frog because of how childish the move may seem. Regardless, it's fun, reckless, and a solid B-tier celebration. One Eye, Roberto Firmino. A celebration that all began when Vertonghen poked Firmino in the eye. Three days later, he scored the deciding goal against PSG and covered his left eye. Inspired by the clash, Bobby admitted that the celebration shows how to look at life through a different lens, emphasizing how lucky he was to escape the accident without any serious complications. His bounce back story suggests the brilliance behind the one eye, as I have to add it to the 8 tier shelf. Swagger. One of the best moves if you're ever feeling like a superhero. As a footballer, we all want to prove ourselves on the pitch, and scoring a goal is one of the easiest ways to show our talents. Between his free-flowing hips and the style of character it brought to the game, Swagger is too clean to leave anywhere but the A-tier. The Nailbiter. One of the ugliest celebrations in existence. In definition, nail-biting occurs due to anxious behavior, and in football, there are many times of tension. Whether it's a six-point battle at a relegation, an end-of-the-season fight for the title, or even a match against your biggest rival, there are many ways that stress can add to the beautiful game. Yet, I feel the nailbiter mocks the opposing team because it shares how dreadful the goal is in a tie, making this trend a C tier choice. The Pigeon, Richarlison. I absolutely love the Pigeon. During the 2022 World Cup, Richarlison led the Brazilian squad alongside Neymar and Vinny Jr. He scored, in my opinion, the goal of the tournament. And finding Richarlison! And in one match, he even got his manager Titi to do the Pigeon dance with him. It's a celebration that brings us along for the ride as he explains that the dance came from a Brazilian home song. His Pigeon is wholesome, cute, and very fun with friends. Without a question, it's a B tier move. Speedwalk, Samuel Umtiti. In 2018, the beast ascended against Belgium and scored the only goal from second half set piece. The crowd was taken back, but for Ntiti, he was in the pool, walking swifter and calmer with each step. It was almost as if he was meditating in slow motion. It erupted on social media as France became the World Cup champion soon after. Today, Ntiti knows how to walk the walk. Whether you're a clunky defender or a fearless striker, Ntiti has shown us how to be smooth on the biggest stage. It's borderline supreme, but should rest at the A tier. Floor Spin the celebration I like to call the running tire. For my guess, this move was likely invented from a man high on adrenaline. Maybe in the moment, dropping down and running spins could be exciting, but I find it very silly. The floor spin is a celebration that has to live in the D tier. Timber, a celebration that might cause a mini earthquake. Ever since I was little, I love to do trust fall experience with my friends and family, banking on each other's word before we collapsed and broke our heads open. However, this celebration takes it to the next level. None of us are professional summon, and on top of that, the pitch isn't always soft, which makes the timber one of the most dangerous ways to celebrate. Since since the move isn't safe, it has to rest in the C tier. Cell phone, Gabriel Jesus. A celebration great for picking up the ladies. Yet for Jesus, he made it his post goal trait because of his love for his mother. She taught him the power of determination and gave him the confidence to go pro. As he explained, when someone asks about my father, I say that my mother is my father. She did everything for me and my brothers. His dreams were crushed when his local club couldn't offer him a bed at the academy. Yet she never gave up as he reflected. My mom would be calling me all the time to find out where I was. And if I didn't pick up, she'd start calling my friends. Now when I pick up the phone, it is in honor of my mother and everyone in Brazil who helped me get here. And now whenever the ball hits the back of the net, he picks up the phone and says hello to his mom. It's a heartwarming celebration if any player wants to cherish someone close. Hands down, the cell phone is brilliant, special, and should be put in the S tier. Hypnosis, a celebration that should be named after Darth Vader. I like how it reflects a lot of Star Wars attributes. Supernatural forces are cool, but it just seems weird to do. I think the celebration could be improved if more players participated. For example, if the scorer knocked down players in a line like a set of bowling pins, then I would find it more hilarious. Its aggressive behavior makes me leave Hypnosis in the C tier. 
Show respect. The nicest move beneath the bedrock of football. Show respect is a default tribute for those scoring against their former clubs. If not, then fans will retaliate and players will seek revenge. However, the celebration does allow us all to take a deep breath and accept the goal scored. It's ancient and an S-tier move. Stir the pot. Serge Gnabry. A discovery that first emerged from Flick the Wrist. But it was through the NBA that the move went viral. James Harden, a leading guard for the Rockets, began the Stir the Pot celebration after he scored a buzzer beater for his team. It's a motion that means something is cooking. Serge Gnabry became inspired during Bayern's preseason tour as he met Harding after a game. They cooked it up together, sharing the delight of a pop culture trend. It's slick and an A-tier celebration. Point to the sky, Leo Messi. In the last 20 years, Messi has taken over the football kingdom. His point to the sky celebration expresses hope, love, and spirituality. We found that this gesture was a dedication to his grandmother, who passed away when he was 11 years old. She brought him to every match growing up, as Leo was always viewed too small by managers. Celia demanded her grandson was capable, and so the celebration lives on. Today, young kids are inspired by Messi's story and want to continue his point to the sky celebration. It's a celebration of life, humility, and will forever live in the S tier. Spanish Dance, James Rodriguez. Originally formulated from historic salsa practices, the Spanish dance became a hip swaying art for James. He initiated the trend during a Colombian match, shaking his hips and perfecting the dance pattern. Its grooviness makes the celebration addictive to do, and is an exciting option from the B tier. World Beater. Megan Rapino. Although this move has been seen as arrogant, it was still designed for iconic moments. But on June 28, 2019, Megan Rapino celebrated with World Beater against France. She quickly charted on social media and became one of the greatest sports pictures of the decade, according to Bill Simmons. Donald Trump found her celebration disgraceful and expressed that she should win before she talks. Rapino acknowledged his statement, feeling her pose was quite funny and playful. After winning the Netherlands final, fans chanted F Trump on live TV, which shows how America isn't so united after all. Regardless, the World Beater is a rare stance dedicated for massive moments. Without a doubt, it's an A-tier celebration. Sipping Tea, Alex Morgan. In the semi-final versus England, Alex Morgan proceeded to do the Sipping Tea animation. Fans found the celebration either hilarious or distasteful, yet Alex at the time was playing for Tottenham Hotspur, living in London, and probably sipping tea herself. Weeks prior, the US beat Thailand 13 to nil, becoming their largest win ever. By 13 goals to nil. The backlash was relentless as Morgan concluded, you see men celebrating all over the world in big tournaments, grabbing their sacks or whatever it is. And when I look at sipping a cup of tea, I'm a little taken back by the criticism. As Rapino commented, to tease the English is such a pleasure, because they react immediately and get completely outraged. You see, teasing your best friend will always be hilarious. Whether it's a simple prank or joke, as long as no one got hurt, it usually isn't a big deal. In the end, we all hate to get trolled, and a cup of tea ain't hot enough to spice up the argument. It's unique, a drama brewer, and a B-tier celebration. Salute. In the 1750s, French knights greeted each other with a salute to show friendly intentions. Originally defined as, this is who I am and I am not afraid. There's all types of different salutes. For example, the naval salute was designed with the palm facing downwards because most deckhands were really dirty. Other cultures included the British salute with the palm facing outward, the two finger Polish salute, and even the one finger Islamic salute. However, did you know that Hitler's salute actually began in Rome? The Romans made an action with their arm extended straight, which quickly got adopted by the Nazi party. And now if a citizen gets caught with the Roman salute, they can face a serious fine or up to three years in prison. And in recent trends, the clenched fist salute became a popular gesture for the black power movement. When broken down, salutes are an act of leadership, in the heart to any military veteran. It's the last task before any captain takes off, which makes the salute a B-tier celebration. Eye of the Storm. In FIFA 23, EA created the celebration out of nothing. But why? Why this celebration? It sheds a thunderous energy as they are the main subject of public disagreement, or in this case, the difference maker. Without the goal scorer, the match would stay the same. To me, Eye of the Storm is comfortable, fresh, and a seamless C-tier celebration. Right here, right now, Cristiano Ronaldo. Welcome to Cristiano Su, arguably the most influential wave in the past generation. The story behind Ronaldo's move began when he went overseas with Real Madrid. In a 2014 friendly versus Chelsea, he scored and made the Su his trademark. EA named it Right Here, Right Now in FIFA, which references his point to the ground before jumping into the sky. With influencers like the Sidemen, I Show Speed, and the Beta Squad, Ronaldo's celebration continues to get pushed to new audiences every day. The gesture means yes in Spanish, and has shaped the entirety of football culture. The suit is indestructible and will forever live in the S tier category. Mannequin Jamie Vardy. In November 2016, the mannequin challenge exploded. A video went viral showcasing a group of people acting frozen in mid-action as a camera shuffled around the room. That year, England faced Spain in a friendly, and Jamie Vardy led half of the squad to participate in the mannequin challenge. It's a team contribution that has motivated some of the most famous faces to participate, but unfortunately the celebration aged pretty poorly and has thus been abandoned. At this point, it's a lame C-tier option. The Heart. 
Gareth Bale, Di Maria. Growing up, we all fell in love with the beautiful game, and now with every goal we score, our inner child bursts through. This classic is one of the most passionate celebrations. For Bale, it was meant for his high school sweetheart, Emma. They got engaged in 2016 and now have three kids together. And for Di Maria, it shows his affection for his wife. Inspired by their family's support, the heart can shed a light to anyone in love. It's indeed an A-tier choice. I can't hear you. Juan Roquelme. This gesture is one to spice up the crowd's energy. Initially made famous by the great Juan Roquelme, the Argentine used a celebration throughout his club career and inspired Messi to continue his. During the World Cup semi-final, Messi scored a goal and celebrated like this in front of the Dutch bench. Raquel May nicknamed the celebration as Topo Gigio, which stood for a cartoon mouse. Based off the Italian 1960 show that featured a puppet called Luigi, the cupping ears is a technique used by many footballers today. It's a solid option from the B tier category, the chest bump. In other sports, athletes enjoy the adrenaline rush from getting the heart-to-heart -heart pump. It's common for guys but may be uncomfortable for women. Its origin is unknown and is an average C tier choice. Shush, Raul. One of the first celebrations that got banned on FIFA. Initially created to quiet the opposing side, it's Vague who started the trend. However, Raul performed this move in the 1999 El Clasico. It got removed in FIFA 21 due to its overwhelming negative comments by the community. Some say it's toxic, though to me, it's the nicest way to shut someone up. But then again, is it ever really nice to make a mate shut up? Designed to annoy, the shush is a cheeky B-tier taunt. Brickfall. In some regions, footballers have mastered the skill of flopping. They fool referees every weekend and get clowned on social media for their acts. The brickfall reminds me of a fish out of water. It's one I'd avoid and should remain in the D tier. The flute, Andre Lacazette. At Arsenal, Lacazette began playing the flute. It started as a bet with his friend who really liked music. Andre accepted his buddy's request and made it a goal scoring tradition. The vibes from the flute make this choice a B tier celebration. The Scorpion, Olivier Giroud. A heel dance trend that all started from Giroud's scorpion kick against Crystal Palace. He won the 2017 Puskas Award from the bar down finish and created a new celebration. The Scorpion was later performed after his. 91st minute equalizer against AFC Bournemouth. Arsenal's incredible comeback from 3-0 down left the Emirates speechless. Alexis Sanchez despised Giroud's celebration and felt it was immature. Regardless, the memory still rings like a bell, as its awkwardness makes it a C-tier celebration. Air Guitar, Didier Drogba. During his era, Drogba led Chelsea to become Premier League champions. His beloved post goal tradition was enhanced one evening with the Air Guitar. When they faced Wigan, they smashed them 8 0, turning up the vibes. Drogba rushed over to the corner flag to play the Air Guitar. It was a genius move by the forward and will forever be remembered as an 8 tier celebration. The Neighborhood, a cheeky celebration for the entire gang. There is no route to the neighborhood as it reminds me how to act cool in a flash. This thinking pose is nestled like a statue and can be fun for a group of young mates. Say cheese because this squatted pick of men is sadly a D-tier celebration. The Mask Dybala. When Dybala was taking over games with Juventus, he adapted the mask to be part of his brand. He used his index finger and thumb to create a V-shaped covering over his mouth. In 2016, he discovered it from the film The Gladiator. The movie inspired Paulo on a holiday once, and now it's stuck to his game. Overall, the mask is sharp and is a fire B-tier celebration. Surf and Flex. As men, we all want to show our muscles, especially at the beach. But the truth is, none of us are Romelu Lukaku or Adama Traore. This two-for-one combo doesn't pass too often. First comes riding the wave, and later the muscle flex. It's a great celebration that shares the vibes of summer vacation, although it lacks a special message. Surf and Flex is peachy, distinctive, and should probably remain in the C tier. Riding the Wave Daniel Sturge During his Premier League era, Sturge often performed Riding the Wave. Growing up, he enjoyed imitating celebrations from Pastino Espila and Ian Wright. However, this pick came straight from his creative mind. One day, he met up with his cousins and friends at his apartment. They started partying and drinking until randomly, Sturge did the move on the spot. At first, the dance wasn't smooth because of his tipsy behavior, but his mates found it hilarious. Sturge concluded that celebrations should define your character as a footballer, while dancing isn't a requirement. It's an honor and celebration that might have been inspired from the addition of alcohol, nevertheless, it's clean, elite, and an A-tier choice. Breakdance In the 1960s and early 70s, New York City became the prime landscape for breaking a new move. There's no right or wrong way to breakdance, it's just a matter of knowing how to execute the moves on the spot. It's an undervalued skill that's been mastered from talented artists, although for the average footballer, I don't recommend attempting to breakdance. If you can do it, do it. But for me, and for the majority, we have to put it in the B-tier. Backflip Hugo Sanchez The traditional backflip is one of the first stepping stones for most competitive gymnasts. Hugo Sanchez trained as a gymnast growing up, and started backflipping with Real Madrid. Fans love to watch his acrobatic flips, as Hugo once said, whoever invented football should be worshipped as a god. While the front flip became a Batman's go-to celebration, he admitted that Hugo Sanchez inspired him to be more creative, as his grandfather loved watching La Liga with Pierre. Its exciting energy is electric, yet it's been known as a recipe for a disaster. The injury risk is high for any beginner, however, this move is still supreme and has to be raised to the S tier. X. Robert Lewandowski. Born from Poland, Lewandowski is a cemented character in the European game. His iconic X, performed by 
crossing his arms and clenching his fists originated from his daughter Clara. When she was just two years old, Clara started to hold her arms in this pose. It struck Robert's heart as he now celebrates from his daughter's innovation. From father to footballer, Robert's revolutionized the sport completely, which makes the X an A-tier celebration, handstand. Since the early 1900s, handstands have been a growing art in the field of entertainment and sport. From circus routines to gymnastic competitions, the handstand has evolved across many generations. There are two major types, which include the straight line and the curd banana. This celebration challenges an individual strength and balance. It's a rare move in football, however in other activities, the handstand is more favored. Hands down, the celebration is impressive, vigorous, and a decent C-tier option. Hop and point. In FIFA 21, the trend piqued the community's interest. Despite its lack of meaning, the celebration was cool when it was first established, yet now it lost most of its excitement. The hop and point is a solid shuffle and has to slide in the B-tier. KO, Wayne Rooney. One day in 2015, Rooney shadowboxed the sky and knocked himself out. He was excited for the heavyweight world championship that weekend between Anthony Joshua and Dylan White. Josh won after a 7th round technical knockout, in which the rematch never happened because of White's failed drug tests. His KO against Spurs took the world by storm. After the match, he jokingly started sparring with Bill Bardsley out of his passion for boxing. Early on, his father gifted him gloves, since it was his favorite sport to watch. His uncle ran a gym as he said, I used to go to football and then straight to boxing after. He felt that it helped prepare him for the rigors of the Premier League. I think at a younger age, boxing does more for kids than football does. The story behind the knockout is dynamic, enticing young lads to follow their dreams. No doubt, it's an A-tier choice. Machine Gun, Gabriel Batista. Years ago, the Machine Gun was a combative celebration. It was made famous by Batista when he became Fiorentina's all-time top goal scorer. This move made him feel alive and powerful after a goal. When he retired, he described his hatred for football as he said, I don't like football, it's only my job. I was never happy. If I scored two goals, I wanted a third. I always wanted more. It seemed like his mentality was on a rampage, as it was removed from FIFA's options due to its violent behavior. However, in my opinion, the Machine Gun's banishment doesn't hold it back from the B-tier celebrations. Bow and Arrow, Edison Cavani. Meet football's Tarzan, a Uruguayan hunter born to score goals. His idol, Gabriel Batista, motivated Cavani to become one of the best poachers in front of goal. The bow and arrow was inspired from his country's roots and his daughter, India. It's a signature move and one that deserves to be in the B-tier list. Stand Tall, Wayne Rooney, Jude Bellingham. When Rooney scored his bicycle a decade ago, he celebrated using the Stand Tall. It's a popular gesture at the end of Olympic events, yet in this case, Rooney picked it up for the goal of his career. It's a move for celebrating in pride and being thankful. And Jude Bellingham enjoyed enjoys using a similar pose. He typically opens up his arms and almost tries to hug the crowd. It's a gentle giant in the field of pro sports, pleasant for any footballer, and a respectable A-tier choice. Little brother, Kylian Mbappe. In 2017 with Morocco, he scored twice against Dortmund and made his debut celebration. Known as the Little Brother Celebration, the story all started from his younger brother Ethan. One time when his brother scored on him in FIFA, he stood up and celebrated by crossing his arms. Five minutes later, he told Mbappe that he should do it in a match, and soon his move became showcased every weekend. Today, it's famous for those seeking to get the the respect they think they deserve. For me, Little Brother is quick, supreme, and an S-tier celebration. Peace. Erling Holland. Whether or not you're a fan of Man City, it's hard to hate on Erling Holland. But football aside, Holland is also very chill. He performs the piece because of his love of meditation. He found practicing to stay calm has helped him with personal development. This position is known as the Lotus Pose in yoga and is used when someone is trying to relax their mind. And in the age of mental health, I think we should all give this a try. Holland made meditating a sudden cool tradition, living in a Zen state and showing the world a new S-tier celebration. Fingers, Virgil van Dyke. When Van Dyke first signed at Liverpool, we didn't know what to expect. On the rare occasions where he'll score, Virgil will do the finger celebration. And when he did pick up an injury, Gigi Wijnaldi would begin doing the celebration in light of his teammate. In quote, he said, This is how I show that we're thinking of him, as a reporter called this a bromance between the two Dutchmen. But honestly, I find the celebration lame compared to those in the market, which leads me to put it in the D tier. The picture, Song Hyun Min. If you think of players from Tottenham Hotspur, you might consider Harry Kane, Deli Alley, Gareth Bale, or even Gary Lineker. But what about Song Hyun Min? The the picture is his go-to celebration because he wants every goal to become a memory. It's a celebration designed to tell stories, remember the good moments, and is truly a respectable choice that has to sit with the elite options at the S tier. Jay Lings Jesse Lingard. At Man United, Lingard became a bright lad with a spring of energy. He called this move JL or J Lings for short, using his hands to create a J and an L in front of his face. It started in 2019, but it's since lost its place as a C tier choice. The Cobra Arnaut Dajuma. In his time at Everton, Arnaut Dajuma made the Cobra dance one of his special celebrations. When he was growing up playing five aside in Nigeria, one of his friends did the Cobra every time he scored. Known for his snake like dribbling, his childhood friend invented a slick, quirky, and A tier move. Goggles. Anthony Anthony Modeste. On one Bundesliga evening, Anthony Modeste began the goggle celebration. The move was created out of his love of emojis, as he uses his hands to add glasses to his face. Every WhatsApp from me ends with a smiley, Anthony said freely. It's a fun trend, neat in reality, and 
a B tier celebration. Do you hear this? Luca Toni. In Italy, Luca Toni remodeled football with his own taste. Happy as a clam, Luca would rotate his hand neck to his ears to show the noise wasn't loud enough. This fired up the supporters and got the whole team to celebrate. From afar, it's like he was turning the gears in his head, while in Greece, the motion meant the mind was going crazy. Regardless how one may interpret the celebration, it's spectacular and a great A tier tradition. Kiss the ground, Mohamed Salah. As a Muslim footballer, Salah wants to pray or thank God for any opportunity. This prayer is called a sujud, which requires the forehead, nose, hands, knees, and toes to all touch the ground at the same time. It's a religious act of gratitude that shows Salah's appreciation. Just because he scored in one game doesn't mean he'll score in the next. Today, Salah doesn't take goals for granted. He's proud of his heritage, beliefs, and most of all, his S tier celebration. The finger. Marcus Rashford. At the end of 2022, Rashford started pointing to the side of his skull. It symbolizes the importance of mental health and keeping our brains healthy as we age. Marcus found himself struggling at times as he said that it wasn't really his own performance but rather the other things that happened off the pitch. Sometimes our darkest thoughts can be the most dangerous, which is why hundreds of footballers continue to spread Rashford's message. I cherish this story because we've all tried taking too much all at once, and this can lead to burnout and demonize our mental space. Sometimes a break is the best thing we can do. With the power of a single point, this move has to become an S tier choice. Do you see this? Pazzini. Initially started as a joke between Luca Toni and Adrian Mutut, the do you see this celebration begs to question the reality of everyone's eyes. As Pazzini roofs another goal into the back of the net, he points to his eyes using his first two fingers. This begs the crowd who saw him score the goal. It was created as a joke between the Italians, but became an exciting trend for them throughout the season. The do you see this gesture is a solid B-tier choice. Disbelief. Sometimes in FIFA, the craziest goals end up in the back of the net, and no one can explain why. I relate this move to Sal Volcano from Impractical Jokers, where he literally falls out of control from laughter. The disbelief is one full of shock and is uncommon in the art of celebrations. For me, I find it average at best, so in this case the C-tier is the only place for it. Kiss the ring. Luis Suarez. In the 1998 World Cup, Rivaldo made it famous after scoring against Denmark, although in recent times, Luis Suarez popularized the celebration. Ever since his days at Liverpool, Luis began kissing his wrists and fingers as a tribute to his wife and kids. Harry Kane adopted this tradition, as this family move is a cute choice for the B-tier. Waddle. Atraf Hakimi. In the 2022 World Cup, Morocco made history. Captained by Hakimi, the team survived until the semi-finals. During their run, Hakimi started doing a penguinish tradition that came from Jalen Waddle. Jalen created the move as a play on his surname, Waddle, and thus the celebration was established. God knows if his last name wasn't Waddle, then maybe the celebration would have never existed. His penguin trend is slick, funny, and a cheeky B-tier option. Golf Swing James Ward-Prowse When compared to other sports, the majority would argue golf is more boring than football. The Golf Swing animation shows someone's appreciation for the sport. James's son Oscar enjoys teen golf and has made this a cute father-son bond. Ward-Prowse is the king of free kicks and can even be more talented on a different patch of grass. The Golf Swing is iconic, super relatable, and without a doubt in a tier celebration. El Matador. Ever since the Spanish first adopted their bold toying traditions, El Matador has become their celebration of choice. Legends like Jose Salas, Mario Kempis, and even Maradona first formed the Matador tradition. This simple bow of appreciation is a way of saying thank you to the fans. It's popular in the Olympics, but in football, it's not that exciting. At most, the celebration will get to breathe at the C tier. Samba Dance. Ronaldinho Vinny Jr. In the world of dance culture, the Samba is a Brazilian style rooted from the West African slave trade. The dance expresses freedom, liberation, and promotes black privilege. Throughout the evolution of Brazil's World Cup teams, the Samba has been a staple that's put my eyes to shame. Ronaldinho loved doing it, and now Vinicius brought it back. In his transition to Madrid, he faced a tragic tale of racist remarks. He spoke out on social media and continued the trend of no room for racism. It got added in FIFA 22, as it reminds us how we should always embrace our roots. The Samba is historic and a powerful 8 tier celebration. The Windmill In the first eras of football, most players celebrated by waving their arms, until suddenly one day they started making circles. It was developed out of passion as it's easy to do while sprinting up and down the flank. This explosive charge raises fans and managers to their feet. The windmill isn't sexy but is a famous celebration from the C tier. Turn and zoom. EA added the turn and zoom in the last couple years and the community is finding it a little toxic. I honestly find the celebration insignificant and pretty poor. The smirk from the zoom is just unsettling. So for now it's a D tier option. Eyes and arms. The gritty. A high school football player named Alan Gritty Davis was inspired by the Nay Nay dance in 2015. Davis created the gritty with his friends up uploaded it to YouTube and got Jamar Chase's attention. The Bengals receiver made it his trademark at LSU and later taught it to Justin Jefferson. The trend was accelerated on TikTok from Young Boy's Right Foot Creep song and later got added into Fortnite. The Gritty Revolution got stars like Pulisic, Doku, Lingard, King, and Leia to do it over the course of their seasons. Today it's been a booming sensation, yet I don't know how much longer the Gritty will survive. In five years, the Gritty might be dead, but right now the hype is still flowing at the B tier. The Worm. 
It was originally created by Kane Hendry in the 1920s. However, it only took off when Steven Sparks performed it 50 years later. In a nightclub, his friend challenged him to do his best move, and the next day, he paid for it. One black eye and two bruised knees was quite the consequence for attempting the mighty worm. In the art of breakdancing, it's grown to the top of pro sports, the WWE, and many forms of entertainment. There's no question this move is an S-tier celebration. Gamer, Diego Jota. This celebration came from Jota's 94th minute winner against Spurs. Since he's a huge advocate of FIFA and foot champs, he found the celebration to suit him very well. On the Friday before the match, he missed team training and instead competed in a pro tournament. And when Sunday came around, he brought it out for everyone to see. His passion for FIFA and football is relatable, making the gamer a solid B-tier celebration. Riding the Cat Robert Kiraba There once was a band celebration introduced by Robert Kiraba. This flamboyant keeper adopted his donkey ride celebration because it mimicked the players he grew up with in the Democratic Republic. He always wanted to stand out from what he thought were just boring dances by everyone else. He got into goalkeeping one day because their keeper didn't show up for the match. Since then, he took his place and became a world-round professional. Goalkeepers are normally odd balls to begin with, but Robert's Ride the Cat was something very different. It's amusing, bizarre, and a silly C-tier move. Cradle Swing Jose Bebeto During the 1994 World Cup, Bebeto started a strange celebration. After his goal against the Netherlands, Bebeto swung his arms like he was cradling a baby. It was used again by Lucas Leiva in 2011 as he was celebrating the gift of his newborn child. Despite its beautiful meaning, I find the celebration a little spicy. However, it's still a cheerful and friendly C-tier option. Dance and Spin Sipwi Chabelle When South Africa faced Mexico in 2010, the team opened up the game with the Dance and Spin celebration. Sipwi Chevelle scored as his team embarked a synchronized Macarena. It's an aged old tale, a pop culture trend, and a fan favorite choice from the A tier. The Dab Initially created by Skip the Flippa in 2013, the Dab didn't take off until two years later, when Cam Newton brought it to the NFL. The move was added to Fortnite, FIFA, and performed at every age group. People got creative as they tried the double arm dab, the single arm dab, and the craziest crossed arm dab. Paul Pogba made it his signature until it eventually got removed. The community's complaints forced the Dab to sadly die, and welcome to the D tier. Flying Dive A default celebration if you ever run out of ideas. There isn't a story behind how this emerged, as it was probably formed by a trampoline accident. For me, it's C tier at best. Thumb Suck Francisco Totti In 2006, Totti made the Thumb Suck his goalscoring tradition. When they beat Australia in the round of 16, the Italians came back from being down to 10 men in the second half. The Thumb Suck makes goals seem like child's play, just like when we were a little kid. In addition to the cradle dance, it celebrates the gift of newborn babies. It's a natural part of human psychology and a celebration that thrives at the B tier. Dog Piss Finney George During the 1994 World Cup, when Nigeria faced Greece, Finney George got down and dirty. After getting on all fours, he lifted his leg to simulate a dog pissing on a fire hydrant. His chaotic choices have been used in other events, however, it's never been encouraged by EA. FIFA is yet to add the celebration and I doubt they will ever do. It's an all-or-nothing commitment in a D-tier celebration. The Robot Peter Crouch When AI was first invented, we all thought technology would rule the world. A robot show caught Peter Crouch's attention early on, which made him perform it at the 2006 World Cup. It's a common trend, stereotypical in reality, and a simple B-tier celebration. Gone Fishing There are some men in this world that love two things, football and fishing. And well, this Icelandic team loves to fish too. As a group, they caught a fish, reeled him in, and took a photo of their prized possession. It's unique if they ever added it into FIFA, and a solid B-tier option if you ever want to fish. Human Bicycle Starjam FC if you want to go for a ride, try jumping on a human bicycle. You can pedal into freedom, take on the Tour de France, and get cheered on by the most beloved fans. Obviously, it's not an option in FIFA, but it could be a decent C-tier option. Sniff the drug, Robbie Fowler. Drug dealing is a popular crime, but Robbie Fowler took it to the next level. After his penalty, he performed the sniff the drug immediately and got Everton on edge. Fans were suspicious of his controversial choice and wished to never see him again. In a family-friendly sport like football, FIFA needs to be safe for young kids, and Fowler has put us to shame with this D-tier animation. Eye of the Tiger, Christian Pulisic. Did you know Pulisic's signature was derived by Tiger Woods? He got the tattoo early on because he was a fan of the golf legend and the fact that tigers were a spirit animal. Ever since he was a teen, Pulisic spent on a mission of completing his left arm sleeve, but in sports, it's rare for athletes to use their tats during their celebration. Maybe this move will motivate more lads to pursue their pattern of choice. However, for now, let's appreciate his signature celebration. It's inventive, personal, and an underlooked B-tier option. Belly Slide Jurgen Klinsmann If you branch off the knee slide, you can find the stomach slide. During his England debut, Jurgen scored the game winner. He hit the ground hard, sliding with pace into the crowd. These days, it's a common gesture you might see from time to time, as it reminds me of our childish days. As kids, we love diving around, being reckless, and 
than playing whenever we could. For me, the belly slide is an A-tier celebration. Quacking Duck Ellsbury United Ellsbury United, nicknamed the Ducks, performed the Quacking Duck celebration. During their 94-95 FA Cup run, they made it a famous move after scoring in the third round. It was a creative joke from the group of lads, friendly for all the duck lovers, but compared to these other giants, it's a C-tier celebration. Human Kayak Ivan Francic After blasting home his long-range effort, Ivan got to celebrate by sailing to paradise. EA doesn't plan on adding this celebration unless it becomes the next trend. For now, let's keep it in the D-tier. Big Man Akin Fenwa In 2017, FIFA proposed the Big Man celebration. Akin Fenwa shaped football culture and tributes his love back to his English roots. This celebration encourages other teammates to perform his dance and sync. Raising, then dropping their arms together, the hype made this community shake. The Big Man is a historical dance that makes me groovy and energized to try from the A-tier. Cry Baby Killing Mbappe. After scoring a brace against Olympico de Marseille, Mbappe celebrated by crying like a baby. He went up to the camera, shed a few tears, and walked off out of disrespect. He explained that this was just a joke between his friends. It had nothing to do with Marseille or anything the press asked. Its toxicity and annoyance can be a risky act for anyone trying to keep a positive reputation, and so for the crybaby, the D tier is the only option. Walk like me. A few years ago, the celebration was brought into FIFA. It's vague who established the move in the beginning, though it does encourage others to follow the player's steps, literally. It's a coherent remark for the B-tier. Giddy up. Paul Pogba. In 2019, the French midfielder began his new move. It referenced what it felt like to be a cowboy riding a horse on a farm. Giddy up was unusual at first, considering Paul didn't grow up on a ranch. He always had a desire to dance, whether it was a mini rodeo shuffle or the latest trend on the streets. Cowboy or not, it's a systemic gesture from the B-tier. Hang loose. Neymar Jr. If you could describe Neymar in one word, what would you say? Because this man has hit a few extremes. However, one of his favorites is the hang loose celebration. When he transferred to PSG, Neymar found it as a nice way to engage the crowd. In Hawaii, the hang loose sign means hello and goodbye. It was made for saying thank you when driving and is a cool style of communication. Hang Loose is a Hall of Famer and an S-tier celebration. Human Toilet, Starjan FC. Is Iceland crossing the line? Because if I scored a goal and literally took an invisible dump on the opposing pitch, I wouldn't know if I should feel proud, relieved, or ashamed of my actions. It's a shitty option that should never be dropped in FIFA, as it has to be put at the D-tier. The L Dance, Antoine Griezmann. Welcome to the King of Memes, The L Dance, a Fortnite original that peaked in 2018 when Griezmann made it his goal-scoring tradition. It was originally created by the clown in the movie It, and became a global trend. Griezmann inspired kids to do the L dance until the move grew out of its shell. Its negative influence has to be put in the D-tier category. Motorbike Sebastian Javinko In FIFA 17, EA added the motorbike after Javinko did the celebration at the beginning of the season. He scored against Montreal in the Canadian Derby and chose the motorbike because of how much he loved riding it back home in Italy. It's a wild option unless you're a motorcycle nerd, which makes this a C-tier celebration. Millie Rock Jesse Lingard In the summer of 2014, two Millie created Millie Rock. People performed this on the go until it got added in Fortnite in 2018. They named this emote Swipe It without asking 2 Millie's permission. He later filed a lawsuit for copyright and got shut down by the Supreme Court. Chance the Rapper expressed the unfairness as he explained, Fortnite should put the actual rap songs behind the dances that make so much money as emotes. Today the Millie Rock has lost its flame but it still remains as an underrated B tier move. Hotline Bling Antoine Griezmann When Drake dropped Hotline Bling in 2015, Griezmann found his trademark. His gesture in the song got added into FIFA under his signature celebration. This move is a message of love and the importance of staying close with your significant other. It's clear the Frenchman is a fan of the Canadian rapper as it's relatable and a fancy 8 tier choice. Head shake, Leo Messi. In the Champions League tie between Barca and Spurs, Messi produced another iconic celebration. After scoring, Leo ran to the camera and bobbled his head back and forth and blew a kiss. This celebration was a message for his children whom he always had on his mind. His sons Thiago, Matteo, and Cairo received his head shake celebration as this delight should be recognized at the 8 tier. Calm down, Cristiano Ronaldo. Whenever a footballer scores a goal, usually they explode with vibrant energy. But for Cristiano, he put on the brakes. This took us by storm after his equalizer in El Clasico. He shut down Barcelona and almost got fined for his so-called provocative gestures. He just wanted to calm the situation down and gain control of the match. In the end, it's just a small gesture to keep the crowd quiet. For me, it's a C-tier celebration. Arm swing. EAFC 24 added a new celebration that starts with the players swinging their arms from side to side without any real control. Their mates back them up in support as they walk back to the touchline. I think this move is chill for newcomers as a great B-tier option. Panther Walk with Timis Gomez. Elworth Ellis performed the Panther after achieving his first MLS goal. His idea came from Matif Gomez in his days at Swansea. He wanted to test if he could scare the local ball boy with the Panther celebration. The poor ball boy backed off immediately in fear as Gomez gave him his match-worn shirt for scaring him earlier. At AS St. Antien in League 1, Gomez began his youth career and was turned up by the club's icon Salif Ketia. Salif was nicknamed the Black Panther and made this move part of his trademark. The domino effect rippled the Panther across many generations and is 
now a powerful S-tier option. Chill out, son. Brian Laudrup. In the 1998 World Cup quarterfinals, Denmark faced Brazil and Brian Laudrup dropped the coolest celebration. After his thunderbolt that went into the top corner, his excitement took him to the ground. He then rested his elbow like it was no big deal at all. He saw Roberto Di Matteo do this pose during his time at Chelsea and got motivated to do it because his son called his previous celebrations boring. However, his equalizer went to waste when Rivaldo scored the game winner only 10 minutes later. The story of this celebration is priceless and should be placed at the S tier. Wrist flick. We've all dreamt of scoring a rocket from 30 yards out, yet the celebration is one for special occasions. In one of Manchester United's most memorable matches, Alejandro Garnacho scored a bicycle very similar to Wayne Rooney's. He celebrated with the wrist flick because he knew how special of a goal it was. It's rare to see football acrobatics, however, when the time comes, it's a nifty A tier choice. Aeroplane. When we first learn how to walk, we sometimes need to use our arms for balance. The airplane is a celebration enticing us to be free and explore the world. I think it's an average choice, which is why I gotta leave it in the C tier. Hands and arms out. One of the most basic celebrations in history. It's a happy flow move, natural in space, and relieving in the moment. It's often used when players feel accomplished or grateful for making the difference in the match. It's predictable, not innovative, and just a flaky D tier option. Come on. Whenever we want others to follow us around, we perform the come on gesture. It's a type of move that unites how a team should celebrate. It's a decent starting choice to try from the C tier. Blow kisses. Since the oldest ages, humans have blown kisses out of love for one another. In many cultures, it's a respectable way of saying thank you. In football, blow kisses is performed to show kindness, appreciation, and passion to all the fans. Sometimes footballers blow kisses for specific family or friends, while others may dedicate their kiss to a passed away relative. Overall, it's an excellent celebration for all the lovebirds, and is a special B tier choice. T pose. The T pose first started in animation software, 3D modeling, and video game developing. However, these days it's become a fan favorite meme. It's a celebration known for proving one's dominance as it appeared in many games such as NBA 2K, Cyberpunk 2077, Super Smash Bros, and even FIFA. It was teased in the FIFA 23 trailer and became a worldwide conspiracy. In the real world though, very few footballers perform the T pose consistently. It's a troll move and a D tier choice. Shoe Shine R9. Back when Ronaldo was making headlines with Inter Milan, he and Teriba West decided to do the Shoe Shine celebration. It's a statement for keeping the boots clean as Cruz and Ramos brought the celebration back. They improved their chemistry with this simple little move and made it clear how to find success. For me, the Shoe Shine is an A tier choice. Chicken Dance. Kevin Nolan. In the 1950s, the Chicken and Bird song was published in an effort for kids. It's been popularized at public events, weddings, and even small parties. There are over 140 different variations, as many refer to it as the duck dance instead. Between hundreds of live concerts and festivals over the years, the chicken dance has anchored its part in pop culture. Kevin Nolan performed the dance in 2010 because one of his mates did it the previous night. It's a C tier celebration, even in its prime. Flying Bird. When we try to stay composed, we come up with peaceful ideas. The Flying Bird is a gentle celebration that provides fans with a nice delight. However, However, this option is not one to fantasize about in a massive stadium. It lacks a lot of passion despite being a cute gesture. Without a doubt, it's a C tier choice. Going shirtless. In the beginning of medieval times, many competitions forced athletes to go shirtless, whether it was to separate a team of shirts versus a team of no shirts, or just for casual aesthetics. However, in the modern game, a yellow card is issued every time a player takes off their shirt. It's a celebration that will never be added to FIFA, although it's played its part in many iconic moments. If the celebration was ever legal, I would rank it in the S tier, but because it's not, it has to go in the D tier category. Hand on head. Whenever we get shocked, our heart rate and blood pressure get spiked. It's an evolutionary response whenever something crazy or new occurs in an instance. It's an OMG gesture used for dramatic events, and is a natural reaction from the C tier. Push ups and sit ups. For every gym rat looking to go pro, doing exercise might be the most pleasurable celebration. Whether you like push ups, sit ups, or any bodyweight movements, doing more exercise after a goal is just an unnecessary flex. Exercise will always be impressive for those who can't perform it at that intensity. But at the end of the day, no one wants to see the classic push up or sit up. This option is boring and is a D-tier celebration. Karate Kicks, Roberto Firmino. In his prime, Firmino was a monster at Liverpool, and whenever he did his karate kick celebration, it always woke up the crowd. Inspired by the infamous Jackie Chan, Firmino loves to show his passion through this series of kung fu moves. He explained that this celebration came from his enjoyment of acrobatics, because when he was a kid, he used to do backflips as part of his routine. Firmino's been carded before for his excessive karate kicks, yet they stand stronger than the majority of moves. It's electric, wild, and 100% an S-tier celebration. Jump Kicks. During the oldest FIFA time, jump kicks were an introduction to invasive celebrations. It's unknown where the move first began, but it's one that would for sure get you sent off if you did it to an opponent. The dynamic two-footed pump is cool in open air, but would be even more powerful if it took out the corner flag. For me, jump kicks is a B-tier celebration. Fist pump. In sports, winning is the best feeling ever. Regardless of the narrative or the environment, fist pumping indicates how awesome it feels to have hit your goal. Whether it's scoring a touchdown, a three-point shot, or scoring a goal, making progress is what drives our happiness. It's an everyday celebration, normalized in society, and a joyful A-tier response. Response. Baby girl, Mesut Ozil. In his traditional celebration, Ozil makes an M with his hand while sucking on his other thumb. His niece 
Mira starts with the letter M and has brought him so much joy to his family. So now, after every goal, Mezzer wants to share his love for his brother's daughter. Baby Girl is Ozil's sweet signature and is a heartwarming 8 tier celebration. Muviello, Paul Aguilar. In 2012, Paul Aguilar created the Muviello celebration. After every goal, he would shake his hips and begin twerking. Despite its comedic elements, I think this celebration is easily the weirdest in the game. It was added in FIFA 14, but didn't survive the course of the series. At the end of the day, it's a banter celebration and a dance that will make us all laugh from the C tier. Peacock, Eric Cantona. In one match versus Sunderland, Cantona humiliated his former keeper by chipping him from outside the box. Here's Cantona! He's done it! Lionel Perez, the goalkeeper, was left in shock as he watched Cantona slowly turn and bathe in the United Faithful. Before the match, he tried to shake the goalkeeper's hand, but Perez avoided his friendly gesture. Cantona calls it the biggest humiliation for a goalkeeper because he was angry and couldn't run anywhere. The peacock turn is an innocent look in reality and is a bashing B-tier celebration. Moonwalk The infamous Michael Jackson is known to take credit for the moonwalk. However, he technically didn't invent the move himself. The moonwalk got rebranded from the 1930s action called the Buzz, or more famously, the Black Slide. Nowadays, it's a swift and challenging little dance that raises the roof in the S tier category. Bad boy. Jimmy Bullard. In football, humor made Jimmy a potent character. Renowned for his bad boy celebration, Jimmy made a historic choice at bashing his former teammates. Phil Brown, the Hull City manager at the time, forced his team to sit down on the field during a halftime against Man City. Despite losing 4-0 before, Jimmy thought it would be funny to troll them later in the season. The bad boy act made history and is a naughty B-tier celebration. Gunshot. Ronaldinho. In Brazil, violence has been a rising problem. When Ronaldinho did the gun shooting celebration in Italy, no one understood what he was referencing exactly. Its violent act got banned from FIFA's options and is likely to never return. It's a scary choice under stress and needs to be left in the D tier. Pipe. Jesse Lingard. At Manchester United, Lingard was inspired by Jake's song Portland. Fans disliked his dance recreation as he commented, I think in sport you just gotta do what makes you happy. And you know what? Lingard isn't lying. It's best to do things that make us happy and Drake is one to not let us down. The pipe is friendly, cheerful, and a solid. C tier choice. I see you. Deli Alley. A few years ago, Deli launched the Deli Alley Challenge. It swept the internet at the time, as many tried attempting to pull off his new celebration. However, there is no significant meaning to the move. It was fresh at the time, but now lives as a C tier celebration. Selfie. Eden Hazard. With the rise of digital devices, it's become easier to capture special moments. In football, it's a rare move we've seen a couple times from Totti, Balateri, and Dom Doyer. The selfie is a creative celebration that shares a cool perspective of what it's like to be on the pitch. Referees have booked players for the celebration before, mostly because they aren't supposed to make contact with the fans. It's a rule for their protection, however in FIFA, it's unclear why they made this Eden Hazard signature celebration. He's never done this in a real match, but if he did, fans would freak out. In this case, the selfie has to be an A-tier option. Point to the thigh. Cristiano Ronaldo. After his thunderstrike from Madrid, he pointed to his thigh to basically show off his quad. He wants to display his growth and explain that it all came from the power of his leg. The venom from Ronaldo is impossible to predict. It's a move drawn from the heavyweights and is a legendary A-tier celebration. Nap time. Cristiano Ronaldo. In his prime, we all felt CR7 was from another planet. We witnessed the suit for many years, but recently he started adding a new celebration. Nap time is a move Ronaldo made as a self debrating joke. It refers to his love for taking naps and letting his body rest from doing extra training on the side. This move practices the habit of getting enough sleep since it's so important in our everyday lives. It's a lovely idea from Ronaldo and a relaxing B tier option. Patty Cake, Kieran Gibbs. Patty Cake, also known as Patty Cake, is a widely recognized song in the genre of English nursery rhymes. It was created by Elizabeth Foster Gooses and was once used by Kieran Gibbs. He performed the childish game with his mates after an arsenal goal. It's a silly but respectable choice that should remain in the C tier. Corner flag kick, Jan Huntelaar. In the 2014 World Cup, Huntelaar scored the winning penalty against Mexico. He celebrated by kicking the corner flag as it released all of his frustration. Paulo Di Canino once did the celebration against Leicester City and broke the flag in half. It's wild to watch and has been encouraged by many fans, but don't break the flag in the process. For me, the corner flag kick is an A tier celebration. Cross eyes, Ashley Barnes. When Ashley scored his equalizer against Everton, he celebrated with his binocular celebration. It was inspired by Ashley Westwood when they carpooled before a match. The cross side gives players a snappy look, almost like there's unfinished business. For me, it's a decent C tier celebration. Finger Mass, Steve Bergwin. In his debut for Tottenham, Bergwin surprised everyone with a stunning strike against City. He pulled out his hand mask trademark and felt like he was at home. And there's a new celebration. Bergwin created it one day from playing FIFA with his friends as he says it's nothing special. The mask is fit, fashionate, and one to try from the B tier. These are my final celebrations ranked. Which one will you use next? Because because the truth is that you can only choose one. Regardless, trends are flying fast and it's impossible to predict the future of football dances. But if you want to see more, I just made a video covering 100 of the greatest quotes from footballers.